Welcome ladies and gents, let's talk box office. So, A Quiet Place Day 1 did incredibly well, but also Inside Out 2 is the first billion dollar movie of the year. Pretty bloody good. It's all done, uh, this is good for the box office, good for theatres, should I say. I don't care so much about, you know, the movie studios. I care about the theatres because I'd like them to remain open. But I am also very pleasantly surprised by A Quiet Place Day 1 doing well. I did review it. Uh, I thought it was a really good film, but I'm just surprised people have sort of kind of gone out in force because there didn't seem to be this buzz. Uh, my review, I'll leave linked above. Please do go and watch it. I had a good time with the film. Some say it's actually one of the best in the franchise. So, yeah, it's the biggest franchise opening. So, make from that what you will, I guess. But let's take a look, shall we? So, Deadline always has such good reports. We always use Deadline, okay? So, A Quiet Place Day 1 easily scares up $53 million franchise opening record. But Inside Out 2 has the last laugh with third number one win at 57 plus. Uh, so, yes, yeah, done really well. It's a good weekend for the box office. Uh, we'll take a look. Hit subscribe if you're new here, guys. Do turn the bell notifications on. But let's take a look, shall we? So, this is the final Sunday numbers. As we approach the end of the weekend, it wasn't a close call for number one between Disney Pixar's Inside Out 2 and A Quiet Place Day 1. The former, so Inside Out 2, uh, beat A Quiet Place Day 1, which is surprising, actually. It goes to show that that movie has really, really held on. It's done really well. It has. It's done, it's done great. Good for Disney. Or Pixar, should I say. So Inside Out 2 did $57.4 million this weekend. And... Uh, a Quiet Place Day 1 did 53. So global debut for A Quiet Place Day 1 was just under $100 million, which is it is actually what they were sort of projecting. It's done pretty well, pretty damn well. Inside Out 2 surpasses the billion dollar global mark as well, which is, again, not too bad. So per box office metrics, Ent intelligence a quiet place day one pulled in 3.6 million patrons without the addition of a thursday night preview so good inside out 2 drew 5.1 million admissions from friday to sunday bringing its total domestic audience to 40 million people so i guess you'd have to compare it with inflation with inside out one to see whether it's changed in terms of the foots or bums on seats, should I say. Um, so Inside Out 2's success this weekend stems from an excellent matinee fueled Friday to Saturday bump of 30%. I do wonder whether next week we'll see a slowdown of it or not. We are due to be getting Despicable Me 4 soon. And I think that will... I mean, that will undoubtedly just rip all the wind out of Inside Out 2 sales for sure. And deservedly so. Like I think, you know, it's good good programming from Disney uh, as well as well, the individuals behind. I can't remember them. But Despicable Me 4. Uh, it's, good, it's good programming from them. They've stayed wide enough away from one another. So, yeah, $22.2 million Friday to Saturday for Inside Out 2. Now it says that's near 31% Friday to Saturday jump. That Incredible 2 posted in its third frame. We thought weekday business this coming week would steal away some cash yesterday. But it's just, but it's just done really well. Inside Out 2, people are off, kids are off. Holidays, whatever. You know, seeing the matinee as well as, you know, outside of that. It's, it's just done well. So, Quiet Place Day 1's three-day best. The US-Canada start of the 2018 movie, which was 50.2. Now, I will say this. 50.2 million um, versus... In, uh, you know, quite places, well, what is it, 50, 53 million. So, 50.2 million for the original quite place in 2018. I mean, it did make more money, right? If you're looking at it from an inflation perspective, the original did actually make more. You adjust that for inflation, it made more. But just on raw numbers, the third movie has done more i guess it's a record breaker they love pulling out these records but if you're looking at it from a, a data point perspective the original did make more money now 2020 sequel a quiet place part two did 47.5 million which is again still pretty 
pretty respectable. Now it says this, for actress Laputa Nwongas, not counting her ensemble movies of Star Wars and Black Panther, Day One's opening reps her second best solo career start at the domestic box office after Jordan Peele's Us, which did 71.1 million. I would say that that was one of the best performances of Lupita Nyong'o I've seen. I think she did a really, really good job. It's quite a nuanced character. Well worth your time watching this film. I had a good time. If, if you like the first one and the second one, you'll like this film. As I say, still, uh, it couldn't be clearer. We are out of the dog days of the strike-impacted box office with a consistent supply of event films, many of which are over-indexing. Paramount and tracking never saw a franchise opening record coming for the John Krasinski Alien production. But here's another summer movie once again that's overperforming for the fourth weekend in a row. Thanks to a coast-to-coast -coast heat wave and diverse moviegoers walk-up business. Love that. Diverse moviegoers. Cool. Whatever. According to Comscore, Screen Engines post-track, 66% brought their tickets for A Quiet Place uh, in advance, which is, yeah, surprising. So 66%, sorry, brought their ticket for A Quiet Place same day versus 9% who snapped up their tickets in advance more than a week ago. Sorry, my bad. It keeps flipping around, but never mind. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. Um, it, it's interesting the habits of movie goes, whether they're sort of booking tickets in advance or not these days. I mean, I never, I never buy tickets in advance. I just don't need to really. Not where I am, anyway. Now, it said Paramount domestic distribution boss Chris Aronson on the momentum of the marketplace says it's a sign of a much healthier marketplace. And a quiet place day one is a different choice than anything else out there. Yeah, so that is uh, what we call kind of programming. The marketplace really hums when there is choice, when there's movies for everybody. And that is true. And that's why you've got to stop making every movie a homogenous blob through its casting because people are sick to fucking death of it. And all movies about the same thing. I mean, people might rag on this film because they're like, oh, it's got like a you know a black, strong female lead. But it's not about her being black or strong woman I mean, she's not she's not really a strong woman this is a character piece so it's a really good film but you know to add to this whole you know when there's movies for everybody and choice that's why you've got to stop the same casting for everything and the same story outline for everything it's boring it says here, and as some Wall Street analysts and media try to knock Paramount Global for rejecting Skydance's bid to merge here's the current studio administration showing that they can pump out excellent mass appealing product even though Quiet Place Day 1 isn't number one, it's a series best start. Not really, but okay. And another victory for New York City Broadway and LA Mel Melrose Avenue conglom. Following their streak this year of number one opening picks Mean Girls, Bob Marley, and If. Yeah, they've done pretty well. Not too bad. This says here, let's also acknowledge that this is a great date for a Quiet Place Day 1, as it's the only adult-oriented tentpole during the Independence Day holiday, which is about to be devoured by minions with Despicable Me 4, which is true. That opens Wednesday. So that is now Inside Out 2 done, like it's gone. Inside Out 2 will barely take any more money now. Aronson expanded on the success of the prequel, told us we did do some research and we listened to our fans and this is a bit of an origin story with fresh casting, a new setting in New York City, which ramped up by the scope of uh, and scale of this picture which has conspired to what is a vibrant chapter in the Aquat Place franchise. Yeah, they did well. It's a good movie. Well worth watching. Don't really care about the breakdown. Who really gives a shit about that? Um, it doesn't really matter. You know, they're just doing diverse breakdowns. Like, I'm more interested in whether it's men versus women, because that's what's actually important. Because if they're going to co constantly make films with female leads, yeah, men will eventually check out. Uh, Horizon didn't do very well. At all. Um, it's kind of bombed and it's getting like quite a lot of bad negativity to be fair um, yeah not good in regards to Horizon's opening for a movie that may have cost 50 million an entire franchise that cost north of 100 million it's nothing to scream you who about yeah it's, it's pretty it's bombed it's not, not done very well people are not doing great with that but never mind um, uh, the rest of it is fine like, there's not really much really to talk about the more interesting thing is just the two headliners quite a place day one uh, and Inside Out 2. So there you go. Across a billion dollars. Done really well. Quiet Place Day 1. Done really well as well. There you go. What are your thoughts down below? Let me know. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Do support the channel further via Patreon. It's the first link down below. Would love it if you did. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye now.